Do you want to make major changes to how your venue operates for special events or occasions? Res Diaries Segment Tool lets you make changes to your diary's operations, tables, areas, and yield management, letting you easily switch between segments so that you can change back to your normal operations without a fuss. This tutorial will show you how to set up a new segment. From your diary, click Settings and from the Table Management section, click Segments to open the Segments menu. Here you will find all the segments you have saved in your diary. On the top left, there is a drop down that lets you filter your segments by their status. The table below shows basic information about each of your segments. The disk shows whether it is enabled or disabled, the name of the segment, the date range that it is active, an edit icon which opens the segment for editing, and finally on the top right there is a create new button. Before you create your new segment, you will need to make sure that the date range for the segment you wish to create is not already covered by an existing segment. If it is, you will need to make changes to the date range of the conflicting segments. To do this, identify any existing segments your new one will conflict with, and click its edit icon to make changes. In the date range section, at the very bottom, the segment's date range will be shown in a table. You may have several of these. Select the one that conflicts with your new segment. You may wish to highlight and copy the start date before you click the trash icon to delete this date range. To add your new date range, select finite range if not already selected. In the date range drop downs, set the first date by pasting in the date range you copied or type in the start date for this date range. Then type in the last date that you want this segment to run to. You can now click add date range. You may also want to add a date range that your diary will switch back to this operation. Use the date that you want to switch back to this segment as your start date and set an end date. You may want to use a date far into the future so this segment will stay in operation until you want to create a new segment or switch to an existing one. Once complete, click add date range. You can now click save. You are now able to create your new segment. Click the Create New button to bring up the segment settings. Give your segment a clear and relevant name and description. Leave the status set to Enabled. In the Date Range options, set your new segment to specific date range. Add the dates you want the segment to apply to. You will then have the option to inherit settings from an existing segment. You may want to start from scratch with your new segment, but often you will be able to use settings from another segment like normal operations and make changes from there, saving you time. We would recommend inheriting settings from another segment. You have the options to specify which settings you inherit using the checkboxes below. Some settings are dependent on others and need to be clicked in order. Once you are happy with your segment, you can click save. You have now set up your new segment. By making changes to or adding new date ranges to your segments, your diary will automatically move between the segments you have set up, allowing you to plan far into the future. When making changes to your diary settings, you will now be given the option to select which segment these changes will apply to. If you're having any issues or have any questions, you can find out more information about segments on the knowledge base or get support anytime by raising a ticket.